Alicia or Bowman Library with a whole new middle grade book spotlight. So our theme for this week, we are taking a look at some books that are detective stories. Now what I mean by detective stories, I'm not talking like necessarily your traditional Sherlock Holmes-esque type, even though we do have one like that that we're going to talk about. I'm talking books in which the main character is trying to figure out a mystery that is revolving around in their life. It, it could possibly be a murder or a crime, or it could be, you know, they're just trying to figure out something going on in their life. And that's a, a detective, you know, when you're trying to like, like solve clues and figure out what is going on no matter. It doesn't have to be anything as crazy as like a dead body, but you can be solving it right along with them. And that's what's amazing about the six books we're gonna take a look at. So let's get started. Our first one is Hideout. So Sam has been forced to move to a new town in Louisiana and it hasn't been a very good experience so far, especially since his dad is now the new sheriff running the police department, which automatically puts a target on his back. Like he was beaten up by the town bullies within the first couple of weeks of being. So trying to help make things better for him, his dad gives him this fishing boat to fish and explore the swamps that they live around, around. But here's the thing, like Sam doesn't even fish, so he doesn't know what he's supposed to do with this boat. But one day he decides he's gonna take it out, he's gonna start exploring around the swamps, and he comes across this abandoned like fishing camp shack area. And it looks like, again, super abandoned, but there's this boy out there all by himself. And as Sam befriends him, he learns that his name is Davy. And at first, he believes him that Davy tells him that he's there waiting for his dad and his brother to get there. And, you know, Sam starts bringing him food. But as the days go on and Sam starts to notice some things aren't adding up, he can't help but wonder what's really going on here. And then when he comes across some piles of money at this camp, Sam cannot help but wonder where it came from and if it could be connected to the bank robberies that have been happening in the area. And you will be left trying to figure this out with Sam. What exactly is going on and what's the secret with Davy? This is Hideout. The 100 year old secret. So Xena and Xander Holmes find themselves leaving America to go live in London for a whole year. And it is there one day that they are off playing their favorite game that their lives change. So while sitting outside of the hotel they're staying at, they're guessing what people do for a job based on their appearance and what they're wearing. And all of a sudden this stranger walks up to them and gives them this note that's written in disappearing ink. And this note says they need to go to this dancing men pop down the street. And there they'll get their next clue and they start solving these clues and they soon find out that they are actually related to Sherlock Holmes himself and they were given his unsolved cases notebook. Zena and Xander then decide they are going to do what Sherlock Holmes could not, and they are going to solve the cases he was unable to solve when he was alive. So this classic whodunit detective story is the first in a series. You will want to keep reading because you'll be solving right along with Zena and Xander. This is the hundred year old secret. Lemon. So 10 year old Lemonade Wit's life has been uprooted. Her mother has just died leaving her orphaned and she has to go live with her grandfather who she's never really met before. And he just happens to be this Bigfoot enthusiast. So when she arrives to this new town though, she quickly finds that everyone is obsessed with Bigfoot in this town, including the boy next door named Tobin, who even has his own Bigfoot detective search agency. So becoming friends because of their proximity, Lemonade soon finds herself going along with Tobin on these searches for Bigfoot and going on adventures she never could have imagined, all while coping with her loss in new life. This detective story is all about trying to figure out whether A, if Bigfoot is really real or not and if he can be found, and B, finding out about yourself while looking for someone that may or may not exist. This is Lemons. The Mystery of Black Hollow Lane. So when Emmy's mom gets wrapped up in filming her own reality TV show, Emmy finds herself being shipped off to a boarding school. That is extremely challenging and is super intense. As she tries to fit in there, which isn't really going well, she soon stumbles across this secret society in which her father, who had disappeared when she was three, belonged to when he was at this school. Wanting to know more about her father and hoping that, you know, 
trying to find out what they know about him at this school and in this society will possibly lead to either finding him or finding out what actually happened to him, she starts asking questions. And before she knows it, she starts making some pretty powerful enemies that will do whatever they can in order to make sure their secrets are not revealed. The first in a series, there is a satisfying ending to this one, but you will want to read the others. This is the mystery to Black Halloween. The mysterious disappearance of Aiden S. So Lucas's older brother Aiden has disappeared. No one can find him, everyone is freaking out, and then six days later, Lucas is sitting in his room when he hears this super loud thump coming from the attic. And when he goes up there to explore what's going on, he finds his older brother up there. And his older brother, Aiden, tells him this story that he wasn't, quote, missing. He had just traveled to another world via the dresser drawer that's up in the attic, almost like, you know, the Narnia wardrobe. So as everyone starts to question him, and they really don't believe him, Lucas can't help but wonder if that is what actually happened. Because what Aiden is saying is too real and there's too much detail to be made, to, for this to be a made up story. Leaving Lucas feeling like it's gonna be up to him to figure out what is true and what is not. You, the reader, will be sucked in right alongside Lucas because you'll be having the same questions and thoughts leading you to solving this mystery at the same time as Lucas. This is the mysterious disappearance of Aiden S. And our last one for today. This is Lost in the Never Woods. So this is a new take on Peter Pan. So we start with Wendy Darling. She's now 18 years old and she's living in Astoria, Oregon. And she's only basically in this town known as the girl who five years earlier disappeared into the woods with her two younger brothers. And she is the only one who came home after being there for six months. And she has no memory of what happened. One evening, she's going about her life. This strange boy appears who goes by the name Peter Pan. And he tells Wendy that he needs her help. She needs to help him find his shadow quickly because if he can't find it, more kids are going to disappear like her brothers did. Wanting to not only help others to make sure they don't go through what, what she and her family have gone through, but she also hopes that if she helps, she will be able to finally find her brothers. And she agrees to go help Peter. And they set off on this clue hunting expedition that will have results that neither of them could imagine. So that, again, this is a new take on Peter Pan. It is classic, but it's also reinvented at the same time. You will not be able to put it down because you will want to know everything that happens. This is Lost in the Never Woods. So these are just six of the books that we have here at the library that are detective stories. You know, they're all trying to figure out something you'll be figuring out right alongside our main characters as well, trying to piece the clues. You might even figure it out before they do. So I encourage you to come on out, try your clue detective hunting skills out in one of these books, or we have others here if there's one that you want, but maybe it's not necessarily in our pile. I hope you tune back next week when we have a whole new middle grade book spotlight and I hope you have a great week.